suitcase, I hear. Yes, I'm off to the arraignment now. Denise, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Shirley. I happen to know sometimes grief can trigger the libido. It's got something to do with death causing a biological need to propagate the species. Evidently, after 9-11, people were running around like rabbits. Really? <laughs> I did not know that. If I could ever be of service to help you cope. Could I have a minute in private with Denise? Sure. So, Alan? I'd just like to apologize for my remarks earlier. Given everything you're going through, I feel I should have been much more explicit. Good night, Alan. Denise, you've always struck me as a woman who secretly longs to be debased. It's an awfully big job. But I feel I'm just the man to do it. Don't stop. I'm curious to see just how low you'll go. All the way down, again and again. I see the filthy, naughty girl deep inside you, Denise, longing to get out. Mm. Now, if you're so unwilling to let her out, perhaps I should go in after her. I brought my snorkel. Take off your pants, Denise. Get out. Let me see your underwear, Denise. Get out. I'm a man of my word. Hi, guys. Just getting some fresh air? Why? No reason. I just saw you out here and, uh... That's all? I should get back to work. See ya. Denise, it's news worth celebrating, don't you think? Don't you ever give up? I do, actually. It's just, you don't really want me to. I must say, Denise, when I look at you, I see one of those little Catholic school girls running around in her plaid skirt. Always to class on time, the first to raise her hand, the neatest of penmanship. And then when I look closer, I see Shirley. <laughs> <laughs>